A very good evening and welcome to Clonina Rectory here in Mount Rath, County Leash, for the service of the late evening office with Lenten Reflection. A very warm welcome to you wherever you are viewing this service from. Our service begins on page 162 of the prayer book. Blessed be our God for all time, now and forevermore. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory be to you, Holy Spirit, Comforter, treasure of all goodness and giver of life. Come and dwell in us. Cleanse us from all sin and in your love bring us to salvation. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Psalm 134, let us recite together. Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the holy place and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading and reflection. The scripture reading is taken from St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, beginning at the 28th verse. Why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labour or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendour was dressed like one of these. In today's world, one of the ways we have of maybe displaying wealth, a status symbol, as it were, is uh, through a car, a, f a fancy, flashy car as a way of displaying to other people on, on the road that uh, one is doing well, etc., etc. If you're doing particularly well, you'd probably have a private jet or a yacht. But these are the ways in which, in today's world, people uh, try to show status, wealth, whatever you wish to uh, call it. Now in times past people would have done that through the clothes that they wear. Less so in today's world because for most part we all tend to dress the same. You see people uh, from kings, presidents, uh, all over the, the world wearing jeans and t-shirts etc etc. Et Time was when people uh, dressed a particular way when travelling on an ocean liner for example even uh, to, to board an aeroplane uh, or indeed uh, when dining when, when, when get, uh, being seated for dinner people dressed in a particular way and that seems to have fallen by the wayside quite a bit. Now uh, the world of our Lord wasn't completely removed from that uh, all, all together. People at the time were very much the same. There were very little opportunities for people to display wealth other than at meals by big enormous feasts, maybe by uh, the animals that one owned if one had a large uh, supply of cattle for example or else uh, if one had a, a horse or even a donkey was a way of displaying some form of wealth or, or, or status. The vast majority of people didn't have that and simply walked everywhere and likewise um, the vast majority of people couldn't pay too much attention uh, to their clothes because their focus was very much on where the next meal was coming from. But the uh, rich in society, few enough as they were at the time, liked to dress up uh, particularly in white garments because white uh, shone out it was very difficult to keep white clean and also uh, white cloth uh, was was expensive and hard to, 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 to come by so it was a means of literally standing out displaying uh, oneself to the uh, people uh, around. Now uh, here at this particular uh, juncture in the Beatitudes, this is something that Jesus is very much uh, aware of, that this is happening in society, that people are using their clothes as a means of displaying status, which is why of course he mentions King Solomon, who could be higher um, on earth uh, to these people than, than King Solomon. If he wasn't uh, worried about his clothes, why should uh, they be, or if King Solomon wasn't dressed as well? as the flowers that Jesus is pointing out on the mountainside, then again, why should they be worry, worried 
about those indeed but what Jesus is trying to emphasize to people is the distractions that can come their way now even for people that are worried about where the next meal is coming from people who literally don't know what the future holds for them are inclined uh, as we see here to to drift and to look around at the clothes that the, the uh, wealthy are, 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 are wearing and seeing uh, this different uh, position in society that these people occupy and a sense of distraction uh, being taken away from the uh, reality of life and this is what Jesus is trying very much uh, to emphasize to people here not to be uh, dragged away from the important thing in, in life which is God and faith in the Lord and trust in the Lord uh, to be completely focused on him not to be distracted as it were with all of these uh, cares and worries that all of us indeed have each and every human being has their worries their anxieties their cares and particularly for ourselves at the moment our focus is on our health and well-being with the continued presence of the coronavirus COVID-19 so at any uh, juncture in human life there is going to be these worries these fears and these anxieties and it's not particularly easy to 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 set them aside especially when talking about one's health literally uh, life and 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 death in the case of the uh, coronavirus it's very difficult to brush all that aside as it were but that's not what jesus is necessarily asking us to do he's asking us certainly to be conscious of the distractions around us that are distracting us from the focus on the lord but not to the extent that we shouldn't be uh, careful about uh, hand hygiene for example or using hand gel or using every means possible masks vaccines etc as a means of containing the spread of a disease that's certainly not what he's saying but what he is asking us to try and do is to keep our focus set on the lord our faith our trust our hope in the lord and everything else then will take care of itself and this is essentially what he's trying to say to the people at the time and what he's saying to us in the modern world as well that if the focus remains set on our lord and savior if he is the center of our lives and our our, our existence then everything else is of course nothing but a distraction or distant worry with the faith and hope in the lord uh, everything else is of even and uh, continuing lesser importance to us so to pray to the lord to give us the faith and increase our faith increase our trust increase our hope increase our love for him that we might be people that remain focused on him with the lord within our hearts at the center of our lives and continuing to live our existence and seeing how transformative that will be for our whole vision of our world and our lives Amen. The Canticle Nunc Dimittis. Again, let us recite together. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Let us pray to the Lord with all our heart and with all our soul. Lord, increase our faith, increase our trust, increase our love for you. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all Christian people that they may live in love and truth. We pray for our persecuted brother and sister Christians across our world. Lord, give them the hope they so desperately need and touch the hearts of all world leaders to work together to build a world of justice and harmony for all people. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all ministers of the church and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord have mercy let us pray for peace throughout the world and for all governments Lord have mercy let us pray for our neighbors and for all our friends Lord have mercy 
Let us pray for those who hate us as we pray for those who love us. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for refugees and prisoners and for all who are exposed to the dangers of travel. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for the abundance of the fruits of the earth and that the poor and hungry may receive a just share. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray for those who are sick. We pray for those sick at home, those in our hospitals, those in our nursing homes and those in convalescence. And particularly at this time, we pray for those who are anxious or worried about their health. We pray for those who are lonely or depressed, for those who are anxious. We pray in particular for those who are anxious about their financial situation at this time. We pray too for those who have been bereaved and we ask you, Lord, to wrap them all in your loving embrace and to lift their fears and anxieties and worries from their shoulders. Lay your healing hands upon them all and grant them health of mind and body. Lord, have mercy. Let us remember our brothers and sisters who have entered into eternal rest. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. The collect for the second week of Advent of Lent, I beg your pardon. Almighty God, you show to those who are in error the light of your truth, that they may return to the way of righteousness. Grant to all those who are admitted into the fellowship of Christ's religion that they may reject those things that are contrary to their profession and follow all such things as are agreeable to the same through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And the Collect of Lent is Collect number 2 of Ash Wednesday. Together we pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we turn to the Father in the words that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And the common collect, let us pray together. Lord Almighty, come and scatter the darkness of our hearts by the light of your presence, that we may know you, the light of the world, and the one true God, blessed this night and for evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And may the Almighty and merciful God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Bless us and keep us. Amen. A very good night and God bless you all.